What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? This is Will Witt with PragerU. Do you guys know who the governor of California is? It's a lady, right? I would say so. How many genders are there? Oh, girl. It's like 72 plus or something. I could not tell you. Sorry. Don't be intolerant. Uh. Stop the killing of babies. <gasps> I hate like killing you, a baby. Right? Like you hate you hate abortion? Wait, what do you mean? So like abortion is a big killer as well. But she babies are gross. You say babies are gross? Yes. Yeah, There's so precautions long. against that. There are. Yeah, there 2019. Are. Take birth control. Use condoms. Yeah. Think Trump is worse than Hitler? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Why do you say that? He's childish. Yeah. That's all I gotta stop. say. He's trying to stop, you know, like food stamps. People need those. Do you think that ending food stamps is as bad as killing like six million Jews? Mm. He did that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you think that Republicans, conservatives are homophobic or anti LGBT? Yes. Yes, yes, I do. I do. Because you voted for a person that hates Muslims, they hate black people, he hates almost everyone. He is not here to, to, to force you to do anything. He is here, he is a messenger. And at this particular time, at this of social, time of social media, you will have to hear the truth. <laughs> Let's go win! My people, my people, my people! <laughs> what are your thoughts on climate change? I think climate change is real. That's the first and foremost thing that you need to establish because there's a lot of contradiction upon that. It's really like the big corporations using up like the most of the resources. Yeah. I don't think we realize how f we are. It sucks because a lot of people aren't doing like our politicians like they're not doing enough to like actually like put like like not like stop it but just like keep it like prevent it from happening you know like they're just like um, just put an end to it you know you know just try to like because like put an end to climate change yeah that's what i'm saying yeah. yeah so fasting makes you feel light and happy or whatever so you can't fast too much yeah but before you become vegan you can't fast too much you'll starve to death uh yeah debatable what is happening to dallas what is happening to dallas what do you think we should do about guns in this country? <laughs> um, personally, I think that there needs to be more restrictions on guns. You can just never stop trying and like making the efforts to try to control guns or try to control people that can get them and stuff. Or another so. solution would be to use technology to be able to identify these things, uh, which would be a much safer solution. You don't Again, it's a very expensive thing to do. Well, yeah, but money's an excuse. Money's a social construct. How do you stop the gender wage gap? That's a great question. Um, I think we have to take a look at our government and our understanding of capitalism and consumerism and kind of start working there and work backwards. I guess capitalism would cause a wage gap. And you have like, if you had like a business, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they could pay women 77 cents for every dollar that a man would make, that would be like capitalism. So they would hire all women. Uh, I suppose in a sense I'm following what you're saying. You mad at me? Mm, not yet. Disappointed? I've given pretty good evidence, <laughs> so. It's clear that you've done your research. Why do you think that men choose that and women don't? Because women have more of a heart than men do. There you go, I agree. I agree, women and men make different career choices because women are better than men. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'm so glad he finally owned up to that. Hey, there's no denying that there's sexism in the world or anything like that, mm -hmm. but the way that I see it is, you know, why hinder your business by hiring men for a dollar when you could pay women 77 cents for every dollar? Um, we're from the licensing office and there's certain rules when it comes to like filming. We just want to know where, where your group was from. We're from Prager University. We're a non-profit. Okay. And did you, did you have permission to film? No. This is a public campus. Okay. So you're, you're allowed to be on a public campus and no, film. No, I yeah, know, yeah, I yeah. know that. I yeah. know that. Yeah, we didn't get permission. So you guys are from Prager University? Prager U. Yep. Okay. One second. Yeah. No, they can't shut us down. It's a public university. Call the cops. Hi, guys. Are you guys for or against the plastic straw ban? Against. Against? I were for the ban. Against oh. the laws. If I put a little plastic on me, you know what comes later? With a little bit of stimulus, electricity, cancer. They were banned here in Santa Barbara. Wait, plastic straws? Yes. Oh, yeah. No, no. I don't want plastic straws. So that's why in the state of California, my first act as governor, I make plastic totally illegal here. I'm not playing. 
You have one percent of the world's plastic in the ocean is from America, and then one percent of that is from plastic straws. One percent? One percent of that comes from plastic straws. Are you f***ing serious? What Banned do you here. Think about the plastic straw ban. It's bull like most things that liberals do. <laughs> That's exactly they're, right. They're, they're not happy if they're not telling us what to do or taxing us not to do it. Okay. Are you, are you from Santa Barbara? Yeah. What do you think about them banning plastic straws? Yeah, the ocean's full of plastic, so it's good. But you're using one. Yeah. It's kind of hypocritical. No, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Brothers and sisters, come together! and fight the real enemy. And that's, that's the invaders right. from across the ocean that do not belong here. So we're for a system without borders, without nations, without, without capitalists, without money. We learned from the Russians and the Chinese revolution that the next, the next revolution has to be for communism. Didn't like a hundred million people die during communist revolution? Where? In Russia and China? No, it's not true. It's lies. Okay. And so we're kind of asking people whether they would rather have the new college named after the Ronald Reagan College or the Karl Marx College. Car Karl Marx does sound like it would be a good name for it, just because of uh, how important he does sound and everything. I guess I'd prefer Marx over Reagan, but that's just me. Do you know who Joseph Stalin was? Yes, I do know. Who is that? Joseph Stalin. Uh yeah, I know of them. I don't know much of about them. Yeah. Those people who I asked you who they are were communist leaders, killed tens of millions of people in the last hundred years. Well, no. Yeah. Communism is bad. Yes. Oh, wait, then what's when it's good and everyone gets the same benefits and like... People would say that's socialism. Okay. But socialism is bad too. Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Russia. So, maybe you'll understand this. Do you like communism? No. Um, I guess people are, this is called a willful ignorance. People don't want to learn about it because it goes against uh, what, they, what they're rather to believe in. I was born in communist China. I was born in a north, um, northeastern town. Um, my uncle had an underground church, um, which, was, um, w which was closed down by the communists when I was 12. And uh, when he was persecuted, uh, we had to flee from China. And uh, now I'm here in the United States. Um, fortunately, because it's uh, it's the it's the last standing place of liberty on earth, so I'm grateful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that if you want to see more content from me and PragerU, follow us on social media. Make sure that you like, comment, share this video with your friends. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching this video. To help keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.